10 o'clock Feeding for the guac Hey YouTube, it's your friendly neighborhood natural Lex Or you may know me as Shop Lex on YouTube And I'm back with another YouTube video for you guys today Mm-hmm In today's video That was loud <laughs> Sorry In today's video, this is going to be an unboxing Yes, yeah, sis, yeah So that was so extra, oh my gosh. I have told y'all in plenty of my videos that starting a YouTube channel is an investment. Like you have to invest in yourself, you have to invest in your channel, you have to be ready to spend money. When I first started my YouTube channel, I was very like on the edge of, you know, buying certain things. I was like, I don't know, this might be a waste of money. But I'm telling you, when you invest in your channel, when you upgrade your equipment, when you buy things that you're going to, you know, use for your channel, it makes a difference and today i have purchased a backdrop stand as well as a backdrop that is so crazy considering the fact that i've been on youtube since 2018. i know y'all are tired of seeing my room as the background especially because your girl do not be making up her bed every day look even now even now, not made up. When am I gonna get my life together? I really don't know, ask Google. The kit that I bought, sorry if I'm looking down cause I need to look at my phone so I can tell y'all the exact name. It is the Emark Photo Video Studio 10 feet adjustable background stand backdrop support system kit with carry bag. This kit I did purchase off of Amazon and no, this video is not sponsored. And it was $48.99. I have Prime, so it got here in two days and it's lit. The backdrop that I bought did not come with the kit. This was purchased separately and I think it was like $20. And um, y'all will see. Disclaimer, your girl does need her lashes done. And um, yeah, so like if I'm looking a little bit crazy, it's because it's time for a feel. So I'm gonna move y'all out in the living room and we will pick up there. Hey y'all, so we are, sorry, we're in my living room and I think earlier I was like more lively because I was a little lit and now I have simmered down a little bit. So <laughs> this is the box that it came in. Let me step back so you guys can see. I feel like unboxing videos are like kind of helpful because if your package is faulty or something's wrong with it or you're missing something, it's like you already have the proof because you were recording. So that's a good thing. Y'all can see? I hope y'all can see. So we're gonna go ahead, open up our package. Got some nice stuff in here. We have these clips. I think these are the things that you actually clip onto the stand to hold your backdrop up if you don't want it to like slide onto the rod thing. I guess this is, I thought these were instructions, it's not. This is just a little card from Emart and it has their contact information as well as a phone number and a warranty. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is the user manual. Then in this bag is these two little knobs. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with those. This is, what is this? I think this is a sandbag and basically the sandbag is supposed to keep the sand from falling over. They don't give you actual sand in the package. They just give you the bag for the sand. So that's what these are. I'm not gonna open the other one. And then we have this little thing. I don't know what's the name of this, but you just open it up, I'm trying to open it up. Oh, I'm gonna turn the knob so I can loosen it. A little bit. I don't know. 
Maybe not. Hold on. <gasps> oh my gosh. I turned this knob and the whole thing fell off, so I'm gonna leave that be for right now. Then here's the other one. Then we have the stand. I call this a stand. That's not what this is. I forgot what this is called. A uh, carrying case, that's what I meant to say. The carrying bag and these little bars. And this is the little case or whatever, so it's like Velcro, so like you can snap it like this and carry all the stuff in it. I kinda just feel like these instructions aren't Okay, so remove the nut at the top of both support stands. Okay, this is the support stand. This is the nut, so I'm gonna remove it. Like it said, so I'll do the other one real quick. Body to body, cheek to cheek. If y'all have not listened to Big Sean's new album, you need to do that expeditiously. Place the assembled crossbar onto the tops of the support stand. I don't even know how you like open this up. Cause like, I'm trying to open it. That's what's happening. Literally. When I try to pull this Nothing's happening. <gasps> Maybe I should just take this whole thing out. So I can spread the legs. Oh. Well, that was dumb. We're gonna make it longer. Cause why not? Can y'all see? Okay. Yeah, let's do that real quick. So I'm going to untwist this one so that I can open the legs. It's like, oh, here we go. Okay. Okay, so I stood my stands up. I'm gonna show y'all what they look like. So I have these set up. Y'all can see, and please ignore this painting in the background. <laughs> this is not even supposed to be right there, but I didn't have anywhere else to put it. Place the assembled crossbar onto the tops of the support stands. This is what is going to really get me. So, I, wait, which way does this go? Well, this don't go. Okay, y'all, I gotta figure this out. Let me take it. Okay, you guys. Sorry if you can't see my whole face, but my face is not important right now. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're going to place the crossbar on top of this thing, on top of the stand. And then you will secure it with the top that we took off earlier. Slide that over, do the same thing on this end. And screw that down. I guess we have to connect. Oh, oh God. We have to connect these two. You can adjust it like this. So like if you need to make it wider, you can. And then of course if you need to make it taller, then you can just raise these things. Raise the, I don't know the term for the stand on the end. But 
now that I have that set up, let's actually put up my backdrop. I don't know what I did with the backdrop. Y'all, I have put it in a daggum bathroom. So this is the backdrop that I purchased. A lot of times with these uh, backdrops, because they have to fold them, they have like wrinkles in them and you can see the folds. But this is the backdrop that I got. It's a little, nice little silver thing going on. It has a hole at the top up here. So I could probably slide it through this bar, but the kit came with the clamp. So I could clamp it up or I'm gonna clamp it the other way. Y'all, I'm so excited. Real quick, I'm going to show y'all the entire setup of the stand so y'all can see. Now that I got the stand set up and I got the backdrop on here, I'm going to like go ahead and get my chair and set it up like I'm about to do a video so y'all can see what it looks like in like real time or whatever. I know y'all can see the folds in this cause it was folded up and I think they gave me some instructions on the packet on how to get the, the creases out. It says to gently build the back with the hair dryer for several minutes. I don't know what kind of material this is. I'm gonna have to go on Amazon and look so I can tell y'all like, cause it's not cotton, clearly, you know, it's shiny and glittery, whatever. Okay, this looks dumb because I need to raise the sand. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, yeah, I definitely am gonna have to do something about the creases cause that's gonna bother me. All this drooping, I don't like that. See, I want for it to look like this. Like, let's see. Let me see if I can work with this real quick. That draw in use, period. You got a backdrop, sis. I did take my handheld blow dryer and I put it on high and I went behind the backdrop and just blew the air on the creases or whatever. And I think I did pretty good. As you can see, the horizontal lines are still kind of there. Like you can see this here a little bit, but it's okay. What's bothering me now is like these little ripples. So I think what I need to do is bring the bars in and use my clamps on the side, like for real, for real this time. Basically, I just put the clamps on this side. There's one, I don't know where the other one is. Is it up or down? And they're the other two. I would like for these little ripples to go somewhere. But I think that's just because I chose this type of background with this material. My feelings about the backdrop is separate from how I feel about the stand. I think the stand is pretty good. The only thing I don't like is that I did have some trouble with the crossbars at the top. I think this is pretty good for like, you know, beginner. It was only $48. Another reason why I bought the backdrop is because I feel like the background that I was using in my room, you know, just like with my bed and you know, you can kind of see my wall decor on the back. I don't think that was like a nice aesthetic. You know, you see a lot of different YouTubers who don't use backdrops. Um, Arnell Armand, she doesn't use a backdrop and she films in like her studio. She has like, you know, a nice setup in the background. So it's like aesthetically pleasing. But for me, my room wasn't really it. So I feel like I needed a back backdrop because 
it was just gonna like enhance the quality of my videos. So you know, it really is just up to you. If you have a YouTube channel, you are in creative control. That's the good thing about it. So any decisions that you make, you can make them for yourself. You ain't gotta ask nobody. You just do what you wanna do. Whatever you, whatever vibe you're trying to bring to your channel, you know, buy those items that will help you bring that type of vibe to your channel, you know what I'm saying? Let me know if you guys have any questions. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And be sure to follow me on Instagram at Alexis. And I'll see you guys in my next video. They just won't get closer to me, getting colder to me. You ain't no one to me. They won't fuck me over my team. Way too cautious, we too sober to leave. At 10 o'clock, feeding for the